I was going to open these, but I thought, you know what? I want you to experience this with me because this is my favorite part. I love opening things that are vacuum sealed. It's just, I don't know, there's something like, something satisfying about it. And I want you to join me. So these are the red. See? <laughs> I just love that. I could do that all day. Those are the red ones. Move these out of the way. Ready? <laughs> that was beautiful. These are the black ones. Let me show you. They're the same pattern. These are, these are all like a solid color. Both of them, the black and the red, they don't have any speckles in them. Can you see that? It doesn't matter to me, but just passing that on. Because sometimes, you know, they have like little speckles in them. It'll be kind of like, have a little like glitter look. These are one inch. And I'm going to give you guys just some real easy, just some basic like tips on, on, um, how to hang these up. Just, just some basic ones real quick. So hang tight. Okay. So there are several different ways that you can install these. There's also different patterns that you can do for just the basic, the, for me, the simplest way to install them is with a push pin or a thumbtack. And this will leave a tiny little hole, a lot of little holes in your wall. So if you can't do that, then you're gonna have to go different routes, which require more time, more effort, more money. But if you can, that is my favorite for like home decor, you know, for, for, for trying to, trying to just for the looks, not necessarily trying to uh, treat acoustic treatment or trying to uh, soundproof, you know, th this right here for whatever pattern you're gonna do, like that's like a diamond pattern. So if you're gonna kind of do that kind of thing, it's just, and then another one, however you're gonna do it, if you're gonna go halfway or if you're gonna go all the way, just continue like so. That's the fastest way and that's, to me, that's the best way. But if you can't, then you have to go different routes, which I'm not gonna go into. But also another tip, um, if, if, if you're trying to find a pattern, you can lay these out on the floor and figure out what pattern you wanna do. Sometimes it's nice to, to see them on the wall, right? Like it, on the floor is fine too, if, if, if you're someone that you can do that. But if you're someone who likes to see on the wall, I'm like that. I like to see it the way it looks on the wall. Just some, some light double-sided tape. It won't, it will, it will barely stick to the back of this. It won't rip it up. So it doesn't have to be anything like this. It can be something really, really light. And 
it will it will it will stick to your wall a lot more than it would stick to this but it's good enough if you if you get it like four on the corners and you push it on there it'll stick enough to where you can get several of them next to each other and you're trying to figure out you know your pattern or you know if, if you're trying to make a design with the different colors that type of thing so just real simple those are just two simple little tips that um, a lot of people don't know and I'm just saying them because I told people before and they're like oh especially this one right here a lot of people are like I never thought of that you know and and they're and they could do it so if you can if you could put tiny little holes in your wall the push pin or thumbtack to me is the best for for the looks for for the decor now if you're trying to do acoustic treatment or even go further and do a soundproofing then it's a different story but for the look this right here is my favorite so i hope that this helps and i hope you have a good day